Hello. Previously, we installed K3S using Ansible Playbook. Today, I would like to show you how to add this K3S cluster to Ranger. And yes, it is working. So let's go to Ranger. I'm currently logged in. And now I'm going to click Manage and then Import Existing and then Generic and then just use a unique name so raspberry and i would like to show you one thing what if you will try to do this and create um no it will not allow you to do this because you need to use a lower case rfc 1123 subdomain must consist of lower case alphanumeric characters then it's dash so and must start and end with an alphanumeric character. So for example, example.com, regex is like for validation. You can see exactly how it should be done. So I will use this and eventually you can do this and it will do this and raspberry, and sorry, a raspberry p uh, k3s cluster, something like this. And okay, create it, please and it will work. So you can see it is important. So Raspberry-P is created. And now two things. First of all, click the last one, one liner, and then you need to go to your command line here. And this is our master node, right? So what you have to do on our master node, not on the ranger node, but on master node where you can see uh, the last result from Ansible playbook. So on master node, in this case, so kubectl get notes to show you exactly that this is a master. So we have to perform this. And instead of your username, blah, 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 add something like admin. Why? Well, because if I will go back to the browser, you can see you were able to observe that I was using admin user uh, during this process. And now you can try to click the first one, but I assure you that it will not work. And let's go back to the command line. Why? Because I have a self-signed certificate and in this case it will not work. And you can see TLS fails to verify certificate. Certificate signed by unknown authority. So let's go back to browser. And here you can see the information. If you get certificate, certificate signed by unknown authority, error, your ranger installation has a self-signed or untrusted SSL certificate. So run the command below instead to bypass the certificate verification. So let's click this and then go back to the command line and paste it into this. And here we go, it should work like a charm and everything is done. Now, the one thing is good to mention that the best option to observe changes is to use watch command and then kubectl and get just pods and uh, or pods and then dash a or eventually namespace cattle system to have better view. So control C to break it and name cattle dash system will exactly show you which port is created. And here you can see a port cattle dash cluster dash agent, some random string is created. And you have to wait a little bit longer for this container. So I will not waste this time for this explanation just because here you will observe that it is creating cattle cluster agent on this node but also you need to uh, understand that also on these two after it will successfully connect will also create a cattle cluster agent with uh, some random string. So each time the random string is different. And let's go back to browser and what is going on here. So now you can see there is a status pending. And if you will wait a little bit longer, the status will change to waiting and then to active. So we will have to wait for this action and be patient. It takes up 
to 10, even 15 minutes just because it is creating a little bit slowly. And then the API is connecting with this Raspberry Pi uh, cluster. Uh, I'm talking about API from Ranger. So they are talking each other. And after this amount of time, it is working like a charm. So let's wait for this and you will be able to observe. One thing is good to observe. If you will go to condition stop, you will be able to see every information here and you can see the status and you can see how many uh, entries we have here and how much time passed. So you know exactly how long the whole thing takes. And now you can see it falls and I will go back for a moment to CLI and you can see the container is all the time creating and there is no um, result still. And after some five minutes usually, and uh, the status uh, changed and then you can see oh now one is running and the next one has been created so it's creating and uh, i mean container is creating inside the pod because the pod has been created already and container is creating inside this pod so let's go back to browser and wait and now if i will scroll up a little bit you can see the status changed from pending to waiting and after sometimes you will see the status changed so i will leave you with this and you observe the web gui panel now you can see it is active so we will go back to command line and we will see what is going on there and here we go we have containers that are creating next to and you can see helm operations uh, pod started so this is how it looks like and then if i will break it because i'm not going to observe this anymore and i will go back to browser and then i will go to home directory like this way you can see i have a cluster that is added the cluster that was installed thanks ansible playbook and that's it thank you very much have a nice day or night take care